All right, I'm at CNC Wine and Liquor in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, they tend to play music, so that could be a problem. So if you come in and it just starts playing music, you'll know that I got zapped and I have to put this up. So there we go. All right, we're at CNC and they are playing music. And you know what that means? I'm probably going to do a bunch of talking and then no one is going to be able to uh, hear it because I'm going to have to put music over. So we will see how that goes. Normally, if I talk the whole time, which is going to be tough for me because I, uh, I don't necessarily uh, like to talk a whole lot, although that would be probably uh, some of my regular people who uh, watch my videos will laugh at that. But I will go through here and we'll take a good look here and see what we've got and kind of go through. I have had this and enjoyed it. Pretty good stuff. Let's see, there's Widow Jane, Rye 3. G uh roast. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, let's see, we got the Knob Creek. Let me make sure I do that in case uh, I have to do the voiceover and I can't, uh, it won't let me do it. So it does it when it does the checks because that music is loud, 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 loud. What's more annoying, me or music? I don't think I've had any of this. That's interesting. So, Laws, Four Grains, Straight Bourbon. I've not heard of these. This is new, I think. I'll have to do a little bit of research on there. If anybody tried that, let me know. Here's the High, Re High West. All right, we got a little bit more here. Got, tried a couple of these, it's good. Got the Buffalo Trace, which is good. Uh, this is forbidden. I think uh, my buddy RJ the Fed has been drinking this and I think he likes it, I think it's good. I don't remember. Uh, most of those times when we're talking on those lives, it's uh, late. Let's just blame it on being late. I got the Jack Daniels, 130 proof. Got the Winter Jack, which is getting close to not being, I guess you kind of want to do that with a little bit of honey. I've done. I've got both of these and I put them together, a little bit of honey. Um, put them on there, got the whistle back. Got the Old Kirk, which we know is the uh, Willet Purple Top. Buffalo Chip. I haven't had any of the black in. I'm curious about that. And I've heard some good things about the Duke too. So and this is where uh, they told me about the uh, Old Forester was uh, it's the birthday blend, uh, and uh, I got roasted pretty hard on that, which is pretty funny. So, good store pick there. A lot of starlight. Blackberry. Interesting. I don't know about the blackberry. And I got the Dickel. I got the Dickel 15 year, which isn't bad when you're wanting something a little bit different. Right. Got some of the Balcones. There's Heaven's Door. Uh, this double barrel, let me tell you. We had a, some Baker drinks, which they're on tonight. They, uh, he sent us some of that, and it was it was good. I really enjoyed it. There's a good smattering of Doc Swinson's there. Uh, I've not had any of that. I need to. I need you guys to kind of tell me if I should pick one of those up or not. And there's the full range of the Penelope. I think the Architect is the only one that I've heard really good things about. So I do feel like all of this talking is not going to matter because uh, I think I'm going to get zapped with the monetizing so while, while i got a second here if you could like and subscribe that would be great uh i just crossed 2,000 subscribers tomorrow sunday at 4 p.m central god's time i plan to do a live i'm going to go through a mail hall and then i will also uh get um just kind of go through my bar and show people what i've got uh, it's not a lot uh, i have more samples from fantastic people sending them than i do own there's the full range of uh, lead slingers. You know that Cooper's uh, Cooper's Craft. Somebody was really talking that up. I almost want to grab that today. Um, I am going to get a little bit. I'm going to get some Christmas presents. It'll be off camera. And then let's see. There's Kentucky Tavern. Juice of my dad. All right, old Crow. And let's see. Anything else over here? The McKenna. Yeah. All right. We all know that this is uh, the flavored section. And there's Jamie, Jamie Fox's. Got the mellow corn here. Right. The sweet Lucifer, sweet Lucy. That's uh, that's good stuff. That's uh, Pritchard's and uh, right right there by Jack Daniels. And oh, what was that? Is that fancy Fireball? I don't I don't know that I've noticed that before. <laughs> Looks like almost like champagne. I don't know, somebody's gonna tell me what that's all about. Got Jim Beam. Old tub, great for the great for the price. Then that's a good price for that Heaven Hill. I think it might. And there's Nulu. We don't get much Nulu here. Right, let's 
Let's see here, Buzzard's Roost. My buddy uh, Echoes of Attorney just did one. Uh, I don't know which one we did there. So uh, there's the Maker's Mark. There's Cast Strength. I don't know that. Uh, is this the one? No. I, I don't really know much about that Maker's Mark, to be honest with you. I don't drink much of it. Peerless. Heard a lot of good things about that. Yep, I just breezed right past that old elk. I don't know that I've tried any. I might have some. All right, this is for Canadian Chris. There is all of our Canadian. Look, oh, here's Pritchard's. Look at that, the double barrel. Oh, wow. Uh, good stuff. This guy's a super cool guy. If you go to Jack Daniels, make sure you go to his distillery. And make sure you get a chance to talk to him. He is a, a hoot. He is hilarious. All right, let's see. Here. Old Carter. Not old Carter. I'm new. There's Kentucky Ace. Rattlesnap. Wow, there's that rival. Uh, good stuff right here. Tastes like Christmas. Although Bourbon School didn't seem to like it, uh, they did not get uh, they did not get Christmas from that. So let's see. Yeah, let me pick this up. Let's see, if this is one of the sour mash. Uh, this is Southern. Yeah, this doesn't say Southern. I don't think this is sour mash. So. But the labels do not want to stay on these for sure. Let's see. That's just regular. It's not the double O. Oh. So. All right. There's Sagamore Rot. I don't see much of that. I kind of have thought about getting some of that. That cast strength is pretty interesting. Gosh, that's super expensive. This may be the only one of these we see today. Uh, of that. All right. Well, let me go over here and get to what we like is what I like to refer to as the good stuff and I know nobody else thinks that so um, our, the, our famous oh, man, look at all that fireball and some who doesn't want a fireball Christmas ornament that sounds awesome let's see we'll get over here I won't do tequila here today I may go to a different one I'm actually gonna go to several different stores today I'm gonna try to do three stores today maybe even four uh, two fantastic uh, scotches for somebody trying wanting to try them out. Uh, I do. I'm really impressed for being in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, that they, they have a, they have a better selection of scotch than some of the places I've seen. Uh, that's a, RJ the Fed's got that, and I believe that this is what uh, Bourbon Hunter was drinking last night. So I've not had it, but that looks good. There it is. That's good right there. Uh, I would not mix this with uh, Coke or Diet Coke. I do want to get a bottle of this, uh, maybe for my birthday in January. I might get I might get a bottle of that. But I got the uh, other one. Got Jameson. Got a couple more down through here. I got a couple of allocated things up toward the uh, the front, and I'm going to get them. I'm not going to show the bottom row because. It's Pretty much looks like it's overstock. So, all right, and that's brandy. So, they do have um, they do have the um, Blantons over here. This is kind of their specialty cabinet here. They got the Jeffersons and they got the Blantons. So, I don't see much of the Blantons here uh, in town. So, and they got that McAllen. Oh wow, McAllen. It's two twenty nine the harmony collection so all right well this is cnc and jackson i'm gonna put her back on here because she's she's super nervous. you got anything you want to say you would say to all your fans of people that are out here well i'm always super nervous but hi everybody <laughs> um thank you for coming in and doing this you know we you know it's super awesome we've had a a few people come through we think it's really cool so all right thank so, you yep so you got the blantons and yes. the, and uh yes. No, none of the well or anything right now, right? No, not yet. Not yet. We haven't gotten in a lot of our allocations yet. We get them around Christmas time. So okay, so none of, the beat, none of the BTAC stuff yet, right? No, not yet. But hopefully soon. We're waiting on it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Also want to jump in real quick. Uh, they just won Best in Jackson 2023 wine shop and liquor store. See C&C Wine and Liquor. So come on out here and check them out. I'm at the Forked Vine Wine and Spirits in Jackson, Tennessee. Now they tend to play music in here, so it might be a little hard for you to hear me, or I may have to talk a bunch, or there may just be music, but they always, always have the most amazing selection, and they have the allocated stuff. They always do, so let's see what they got. 
All right, well, I'm in my favorite store in Jackson. They're so nice, so friendly here. They uh, always help me out. There's a little bit of radio going on, so but I'll kind of go through. And they have the best bottles, amazing. So they're so friendly, so nice. So we're just kind of go through here. I will go through and kind of do what I normally do and kind of do a walkthrough. Uh, they've got a pretty exciting lineup of stuff that is still here. Let's see, we've got the uh, the Siller series here that you can only get in Tennessee. I think they just came out with an Amberonic one, which is cool. All right, we got Uncle Nearest and some Rattlesnap. Once again, the music's playing. You might not hear me say anything at all. I will talk quite a bit. Uh, I think this may be the only one of these we see today. Uh, who knows? Uh, kind of already done a store. I, I do want to say, uh, well, I'll say it when I get closer to the other side. Uh, if you get a chance, like and subscribe. It really does help us out when you hit that thumbs up button on any of our uh, of any of our um, videos. All right, let's see what we got up here. And kind of, kind of, not usually used to doing two videos in one day or two stores. Go roast, go roast, go roast probably gross i'm just guessing here so but i have no idea for sure i've not seen this before black maple here uh hill oregon straight i'll need to ask uh baker drinks they'll be live tonight and see if they uh know anything about that if i can remember and let's see heaven's door good stuff probably gonna get a bottle of that likes to doing a little bit of christmas shopping so i won't show what i buy i had some of this i was not a fan it's kind of all over the place cool bottle sounds like it's a cool place to visit not necessarily something I enjoyed. Uh, I'm glad I got a pour of it and didn't buy a bottle, just based on what it is. So, I did not enjoy this. Uh, as, uh, I did follow it with, a, I had a Michter's beforehand, so maybe that was my problem. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk good things about this. I've not had that. I don't think I have. Uh, you know, you try a lot of stuff, and after a while, some of it kind of blurs together. We'll see what happens on that. So, um, all right. Got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's 1792. Got some of the Buffalo Trace. Got the Blade and the Bow. Got that Russell 6. And there. Got the Bottled and Bond at the bottom. Uh, we don't have a ton here. They have an excellent selection of like crazy stuff that I'm about to show in a minute. So we'll kind of give a wide view of the tequila just so we can kind of see what we've got going on here. I do like these Casamigo bottles, so that's fun. All right, let's see. Go over here, just kind of giving them kind of quick, just so people can say gross, you know. Uh, the Whiskey Panda is not a fan of tequila. He said he fast forwards through this, so I always make sure I say his name, that way I can uh, see if he's watching my videos or not. So. Okay, all right, like I said, going through kind of quick. And that's fine. Like I said, this is not my main focus. I just kind of like to go over to Keela and check out the bottle game because they are amazing. So, all right. Well, let's go look at what everybody's looking for and what they're going to be excited about and what the thumbnail is going to be. Uh, I'm going to put Gina in it. She's the best. She did, everybody's camera shy, but she lets me shoot, so she's awesome. Uh, yes, this is everything. They, she had, literally has everything. Uh, call. Some of this is... Uh, is for regular customers but some of this is for sale i'm not going to go through all of it but it's our, the elmer t lee i think she if you she'll throw in a can of sprite with that if you ask her uh i think this is the uh looks like it's the straight from the barrel possibly i, yeah, I don't have my i do have my glasses on but uh we got the regular we got the gold we got the birthday blend we got everybody's favorite stag now this is something i've not seen it's the cast drink angels envy and that is uh let me see if I pick it up here. That is uh, 118 proof. So that's good stuff. We got the uh, barrel proof, which I have a bottle of that. Small batch. I got the Jack Daniels twice barrel. Oh, come on, camera. Don't zoom in too much. Got the Rock Hill Farms. They got, she got the full line of the Weller. I don't see the uh, orange label, so I don't know that she has that one, but she's got the CYPB. Eagle Rare. Got the Woodford Reserve. She's got the Sinatra, the Knob Creek 18, and the uh, 1792 Bonded. And she's got Booker's, and she has some other stuff in here. So, uh, great, fantastic selection. They're always so nice here, so helpful, so friendly. Uh, I highly recommend this store. You want to come in here uh, and just uh, 
and spend some money. So I do want to say that tomorrow I will be doing a live at 4 p.m. Central. I'm going to go through my bar and I will go through a mail haul of things that people have sent me. If you uh, want to join the, the, the live, it'd be great. Also, like and subscribe. I just crossed 2,000 subscribers. I picked up a couple of today. So anytime you hit that thumbs up, it helps me and any of the guys that we, uh, any of your videos that you like. So, all right. Thanks. This has been fantastic. I love coming to this place and seeing the stuff that they have.